Y'all know what it is already, right? It's your boy Quest, and this is your marriage moment. <laughs> Let's go. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Quest, man. Welcome to another edition of Marriage Moments. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Quest. For those of you who do know me, it's your boy Quest. First and foremost, man, I want to shout out my dude, David Reedy, man. Um, he said, Quest, I really wanted to bless you. And so he sent me this dope joint right here. It says encourager on the front. He said that your boy was an inspiration to him. So shouts out to my boy, David Reedy. Man, for real, follow my man at David Prince, D-A-V-I-D-P-R-X-N-C-E. Or you could go and copy one of these, you know what I'm saying, Encourage Your Tees over at EncourageApparel.com. This week, I want to touch the R. We've been dealing with the Grow Manifesto, right? And basically, it's based in the DISC assessment. And we said that the G is for God, right? Relative to the D in the assessment. The R is for relationship relative to the I, which is the flamingo in the assessment, right? The O, which is oneness that is relative to the chameleon or the S in the assessment. And then there's C, which is relative to the W, right? Which is willingness in the grow um, in the assessment as well. Uh, last week, we dealt with the G, right? Which talks to the character of God in grow, which should be number one in everybody's relationship, right? But we spoke to the character of the G type, right? Uh, as demanding, right? Commanding, if you will, can be at times forceful, but all for the purposes of gaining results, right? That's what we spoke about last week. This week, we want to deal with the R type, right? The R type, which is relative to the I in the DISC assessment, and that is the interactive person, right? That is how you deal with people, share opinions. That's how you interact with other people. And the R type personality, right, is one who is very inspiring, um, very gregarious, very persuasive, uh, if you will, very outgoing, right? Those are the life of the party, right? But they share dreams and interact with people through just that dreams and emotions if you are uh, having anything where you need to interact with other people you're putting a, 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 a event on you indeed want a flamingo to do that for you right they are those people who connect with other people they're shepherds if you will their whole mo is to make sure that you are having the best experience that you could possibly be having right but one thing that we've learned about the flamingos, right? As we've talked about all the different areas, right? The G, the R, the O type, and the dub type, right? That although we have strengths, right? Our strengths, if we overdo them, right? Or if we enter into stressful situations, our strengths can also become our kryptonite, if you will, right? Our strengths can also be destructive. So I wanna show you a couple of ways. Now, it's dope to be gregarious. It's dope to be able to interact with people and be persuasive, right? It's good to have all of those qualities, but too much of anything can also be bad, as I've stated before, right? So there are times where uh, you move from where those attributes are under control and then they enter into a stressful situation where you are operating uh, out of your subconscious and those strengths, right? If a stressful situation comes on, can be destructive. In other words, those people who are normally optimistic can now shift to being unrealistic. That persuasiveness that we normally have as the R-type can also become manipulative. That excited part of the R-type can also become emotional or flooded, if you will. And when I say flooded, I mean where your emotions take over, right? And you're just swimming in your emotions, right? And you can't properly process or think specifically in stressed situations. That outgoing personality can now become unfocused because we're so outgoing and so concerned about connecting with people and talking that sometimes we can become unfocused and get off track. So those are some of your strengths as it relates to the R-type and then those are some of your weaknesses, if you will, or where your strengths become your kryptonite, if you will. If you are married to a flamingo, just realize, that for real, it's dope to have the attributes of being optimistic, of being persuasive, excited, outgoing. It's good to have all of those things, but sometimes they can become unrealistic or manipulative or flooded in their emotions or even unfocused, right? And so the whole thing is to be able to create balance. 
So if you're married to one of those, yep, it's time to start working on the balance of it all, right? So you know what I always say in terms of this relationship thing, from shaky to good, from good to great, ultimately what we want is phenomenal, but phenomenal don't just happen. It takes work. Our type personalities, specifically working on your strengths and making sure your strengths don't become your kryptonite or destructive, right? So y'all know what I always say, man. If you're not working on your marriage, then my friends, <laughs> what are you doing? It's your boy Quest. Peace. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Quest, man. Listen, I am a firm believer in marriages winning. That's right, including yours. So if you know somebody that might be able to use this information or you might be able to use this information, subscribe, comment in the section below, like, and like I said, share with someone else, all right? If you want to reach me on social media, yeah, my Instagram link is over to the left, all right? Peace.